What's going on everybody? My name is Graffiti and yes, you're with the title right today. I'm going to show you guys how to make your own Zone Wars box fights map in Chapter 2 Season 8. Most recent update actually. I'm going to show you guys how to make your own Zone Wars box fights map. Now before we start the video, please don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe if you guys are new. And if you guys do want to enjoy, please come back and watch another one. Anyways, let's get into it. Alrighty, and once you're in your creative hub, go ahead and head over to your island. And we're gonna, as you can see, I already have a Zoom Wars box fights, but we're making a new one. So, the options for today are that one, you have your survival island. You can make one there, and depending on how many players you want to have play, you can use that. Also, the mountain ridge island. You could also make your own terrain with the Kevin floating island by deleting all of the islands that there is. And then what I'm going to use today is the Horseshoe Island. Of course, Zone Wars X Ox Bites Test. And let's get into it. Alright, and once you're in your map, go ahead and find a spot where it's not too, I guess, in the open, where you don't want to have people fighting. So what we're going to do is open up your My Island settings, and we're going to go through the settings. I'm going to play with 16 players this time. You guys can, of course, make that up to 50, uh, depending on how big your map you want it to be. But we're going to stick with 16. Spawn limit, 1. Total rounds, I'm going to have 10. We'll discuss this a bit later about total rounds, but keep it on 10. Time limit, I'm going to have 4 minutes. And last setting ends game, make sure that is on. Join in progress, spawn on next round. Uh, vehicle trick score multiplier. If you're going to have vehicles in your map, make sure that's on zero so that way you don't get extra points. And auto start, I'm going to have that on 30 seconds. Allow out of bounds, I'm going to have that on off. Uh, and then elimination score three, assist score one. And then go into your settings. And then you want to change your max shields to 100. Infinite ammo, infinite consumables, off, off, and then infinite uh, resources, off, power style, battle royale. Uh, building can destroy environment, no. Environment damage, uh, player built only, and then structure damage, enemy and self built. Uh, and then, let's see, where is it? Respawn time, 3 seconds, spawn immunity time, 1 second, fall damage on, jump fatigue, I'm gonna have that off. I don't like jump fatigue at all. And then glider redeploy off. There's the Amazon location team only. Up granted on elimination. 50. And then wood granted 30. Stone granted 30. And then metal granted 30. And then UI. I'm going to go through this. So game winner display time 5 seconds. Game score display time 5 seconds. And then round score display time. Three seconds. HUD info type, I'm gonna have that on score. Token of stat value on HUD, yes. And then resource feed, yes. Use team score, no. Scoreboard win condition. Uh, score. Scoreboard tiebreaker one, elimination. Scoreboard tiebreaker two, assists. And then I'm gonna have a custom victory call out, which is gonna be you're in the zone and then this ain't your zone. and then we'll get into the building portion of this all right so firstly you want to set up your pre-game and also where the players will spawn so the building materials that i'm going to use for this i'm going to go to your galleries i'm going to do the artico gallery if you guys saw my last video, I'm literally using the same exact materials. So that's going to be the wall. And then you can choose uh, the Neo Tilted Floor Gallery. You can choose this floor. And then I'm going to go to the Shark and grab this floor. And then finally, I'm going to go to the Lake House Gallery. And I'm going to grab this floor. And I'm also going to grab... 
present this wall so again find a spot where it's not too you know open and we're just going to place three here doesn't really matter about this but afterwards the one that's going in more you want to have it like that and we're going to place four here and we're going to make it a four by four Now, if you guys want to know how I have it like this, yeah, I'll tell you really quickly. Pull out your phone and go to your options. It'll be right down on the bottom left. Open that up. And right here where it's building as prop and hold position, you have building as prop to origin center and hold position as, as selected. It's going to be like this. And it's going to be really bad. And actually, if you place it down, you're not going to be able to build on it, but you can build on this. So in order to fix that, open up the options again and building as prop, set that to off and then hold position, change that to centered. So that way you can place it and then you can place walls on it as well. You shouldn't be needing to change that unless you have like something that's just like sticking out and you want to fill it in. But otherwise, yeah, just keep it as it is. And then we're going to place the walls here. Again, four by four. As such. And then what you wanna do is you can select or you can replace it. But what I'm gonna do is place here. Once again, I'm gonna place walls all around. And then thirdly, I'm going to place this. Shark roof. It gives it a bit of lighting and it looks really sick along with everything else. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a three by three. And this is where the place will spawn before the game even starts. And once again, copying it for the roof. And then here, what I'm going to have here is I'm going to go to the element galleries. So element. This one. Yes. All right. So what you can do with the elemental galleries is you can just place it down as so, and it looks really cool, especially before the match starts. And then, of course, you have to go to your devices and get your player spawn pad. And what you're going to do is rotate it like this and the settings for this. Since it's before the game, you're going to have it on create only. That's literally the only setting you want to change. I'm going to delete that. Uh, place it there. Place it there. Place it there. Rotate it around. And you got that space, that space, and that space. I'm going to fill this in. Next, we're going to go back down to this level where our players will spawn. We're going to go over to our one piece that we placed. And... This is partially mechanics, but there's not many settings that goes along with it. So we're just going to do it right now. So explosive device, grab that, place it in your inventory, place it on down and the settings for this will be blast radius, have it on the lowest possible, layer damage, zero, structure damage. You can figure this out by just giving you a quick um, floor pickaxe like that and then replacing it down. And then damage indestructible builds, make sure that's on yes. Knockback off. Explode on proximity range 1.25 tiles. Uh, time to detonate from round start. One second. Play audio VFX. No. Visible during games, no. And then play audio. Now what you want to do is shrink it all the way down. And you want to place it underneath your build here. Now, in order to get it, you want to get it just touching, so you might need to change your grid snap. And then you just want to have it touching, like that. And then what you can do here is select both of them, and then you can just copy it and paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it. And you want to make sure that the floors are all facing the same way. That way it doesn't look weird when you're looking at it. 
blam, blam, and blam. Now you have this set up. We're going to come back to this in a little bit, but that's this is what it looks like afterwards. As you can see, the explosive ice are all just touching the floors uh, that is above it. Next, we're going to come over here, and we are going to build our box fights map. really quickly and then right here you want to make it a seven by seven square one two three four five six seven and then however high you want it to be you can make it that high uh, it's more and then once again, you want to make it a seven by seven. So three, four, five, six, seven. If it happens like that, you might need to shorten it out. And you might need to move it a little bit. And then from here, however high you want it to be, I'm going to have mine being three layers high. So from here, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to put it back here, and I'm going to place it three layers high. And then I'm going to place my roof. And then from there, you are done with your box fights. You're done with building it. We'll come back to this a little bit later as well with the mechanics. But from there, you then want to go over to where you want to have your zone wars be. And then since this is in my way, I'm going to pull out the prefabs and I'm going to type in the one of the bridge and pull out this one. as so and then i'm just going to place it right there as you can see i got it perfectly and then from there you just want to fill it in and you want to make it like you want uh i would give you a quick tip right now galleries go and search up road go into it and you want to find this little four piece here you can plop it on down. Now I want to show you guys really quickly. You cannot build here. You can build here because it's connected to this bridge bit. But you cannot build on this. And so in order that I found to fix it, you can just place a floor or you need to connect it. So here and then to here. And it's out of the way. It's under it. But now you can place a wall. So that's all you want to do and then you can just fill it in like so and there you go and you do just do that wherever like a build is not being placed so i'm going to finish my building here for zone wars and i'll come back to you guys when it's done all right well everybody this is my zone wars area now really quickly before we uh get onto the mechanics Pull out your phone once more and go to an area where you want somebody, just one person to spawn. This is going to be just your zone wars. So for me, I'm going to go here. And what you want to make is a too high area like this. Grab your floor and place it just like that. That's all you want to do. But to continue you want to place 16 of them down across your map. So this is one, and as so, this is two. And then you just want to do that 16 times or how many players you have on your map. So for me, it would be 16. And I'll let you guys know when I'm done. All right, as you can see, I now have 16 of them down as like that. And now we're going to get onto the mechanics. So go back to your pre-game start. And this is going to be the longest part of it all, or probably second longest. But what you want to do 
is grab go into your devices and grab the player spawn pad again player spawn pad and then you also want to grab the barrier device now from here go ahead and go to your corner place one of them down and then the settings for this will be enable during phase all and then use on start no and that'll be all the settings and then go under it to the second layer and place down your barrier here and then from here you can choose your barrier style i'm gonna have it as invisible enable during phase all uh zone shape box hollow make sure it's on box hollow and then barrier width barrier depth one and then barrier height two and that's going to be all you need to change for just one of these and then from there you can select the barrier and the player spawn pad and you can just copy it over and paste it on down yeah just like that and then you can select four of them As such and then from here you can just or what you might want to do from there is you might want to place a wall select the wall and then select all of them and then what you want to do is bring it over this kind of makes it a little bit more right I'm gonna say so that way it doesn't have much spacing in between the barriers like this you want to have it kind of like this and then from there we are going to go up here and you are going to grab the rift or the teleporter device place it on down and you want to place it in one of the corners here have a grid snap two the settings for this teleporter will be teleporter group A, teleporter target group A, delivering phase all, teleporter if visible, yes, visual sound effects and uh, sound effects off, conserve momentum, no, face teleporter and uh, face player and teleporter direction, relative, um, skydive after teleport, no, and then enable when receiving from channel 100. This is going to be very important. You would have it on 100 and then disable when you're saving from channel 101 Boom. and then from there go ahead and make it a bit bigger one two three four five you still want to have it there but then what you can do is copy it and then the only setting you want to change is teleport group and teleport target group to B and then a third time you want to place it and change it to C and that will be the only setting you want to change for this first group of rifts and if you want you can make the rifts a little bit bigger I'm actually gonna do that right now seven eight I just made it a little bit bigger and then once again B. and then you want to go all the way through to however many players you have it will not work for 50 players so this is why i suggested don't do it but what you want to do is uh have it how many players the max you can probably go is 25 but there's 26 letters in the alphabet and there's 26 letters for these riffs so i'd suggest sticking with 25. and then once again e all right and then from there Actually, before you place them down, come over to one of the spots over here. Go into your devices and you want to find the round settings and place that down in your inventory. And then you're just going to change your snap to four. And the settings for this really quickly will be round one. And then on round start transmit on. Have this on channel 100. Now, depending on which order you want this to go in, uh, since I want to go to my box fights or my zone wars first, I'm going to have it on channel 100 and then settings will be just about the same. Uh, and this will be however many rounds you have in your map. So if you have five, you want to place five of them down. If you have 10 like me, you're going to want to place 10 of them down. But the second one here will be round two. 
can go to your modified options and then channel 101 again channel 100 and round three so that way it goes zone wars box fights zone wars and once again channel or round four channel 101 and then round five channel 100 and then for me i'm gonna go to round six and channel 100 again round seven channel 101 round eight 100 round nine 101 and then round 10 100 and that's all you're gonna do with these round setting devices so come back up now to your rifts and you want to select all of them all 16 of them or i guess for some of you 25 And then what you want to do is uh, select them all and then cut and bring them kind of to where they were before. You might want to change your grid snap back to two. But from there, you want to go down and you want to go to the second layer. And if you have them poking through like that, I can barely see it on the bottom right. Bring it up one so that way they both teleport into these rifts here. Now I did forget to do that, but... That's all right. So just copy one of your riffs and bring it back up. And then from there, you want to firstly rotate it 90 degrees. And then the only thing you want to change, keep it on group A, but the only thing I'm going to change now is enable to 101 and disable to 100. And then once again, you want to go from A to P. So that means um, group B, group C, and then group D, of course. And then you want to go all the way to however many players you're going to have, max 25. So for me, I'm going to go all the way up to P. And if your last one here is on P for me, enable 101 and disable 100 go ahead and select all of them once again all 16 or 25 that you have and then once again you are going to uh, cut grid snap is two bring it back to where they were and bring them down to the second level here I think Lamp. And as you can see now, there you can see that they're overlapping so that there's two rifts. And I actually forgot to get one. So select one of them and bring it back up. And then whichever one this is. So this is disabled. So this is going to be the Zone Wars one. Group A, Group A. So bring it over to your Zone Wars map. Bring it down on one of them. And then the only things you want to change for this one is teleport target group, none. And then teleport with visible, no. And then from there, that should be all you need to do. Now copy it. And you want to bring it over to your box fights map. And we're going to stay here for now. Um, and then what you want to do is once again, you're going to change your settings to... Uh, Group A, but then the channel change will be channel 101 enable and channel 100 for disabled. From there, you can copy and paste them, but you want to have one block in between. One block and you can place it in the middle. And then once again, the only thing you want to change is the teleporter group, which will be B. Once again, C. Yeah. And then once again, B. And then you just want to place as many players as you have in your box fights. All right, and then once you're done setting up your rifts, go back and you want to pull out your barrier device and find the middle. For me, it will be here. 
and you want to place one barrier down in the middle. Now for this settings, I'm going to have the barrier style to be blue force field enabling phase all zone shape box barrier width 7 uh, and then barrier height however high you have your box fights and then disable we're going to set this to channel 200 channel 200 and then from there you're going to copy your barrier and you are going to here let me you're going to copy your barrier and you're going to place it in the spaces where there is nobody and there's no rifts and then you are going to rotate it and you're going to place it the opposite direction then and right there and as you can see we have our barriers set up and our rift set up and now we are going to go back to our um zomers maps zomers map you go back over to your riff you could you should have it on channel enable channel 100 and disable channel 101 and then we're going to place a barrier underneath it and we are going to have the disable once again on channel 200 channel 200 and then i'm going to have it on translucent uh all zone shape box hollow this time barrier width three barrier depth three and barrier height three so that way it looks something like this and then what you're going to do is select both of them and you're going to place on each one and then the only setting you want to change for each one is the teleport groove for this one it would be b and then for that one it was a over there and then you would place it all down on every single pedestal you have and then the only thing you want to change is group c all right and now i am done with my zone wars set up as you can see i have every barrier and rift set up and now we're going to come into the middle between, find a spot between both your box fights and zone wars map. And you will open up phone. And from here, I'm gonna actually open up the Artico Gallery once more. And I'm going to, or where's it for? It was Neo. And then uh, this floor. I'm going to make a three by three area little area right here and then from there you want to get the following devices you want to grab a HUD message device you want to grab a as a trigger you're gonna grab a item grantor you want to grab a basic storm control you can place it on the right side you want to get a mutator zone plate or I guess we'll come back to that then since it's a plate. Uh, but you also want to grab a sequencer. And then finally. And, uh, and you also then want to grab your explosive device once more. So place down your sequencer first. Place down right here. And then you make the tempo the highest it can go. So it'll be 180. I landed on that perfectly. Length, I'm gonna have it on normal. And then, where is it? Uh, is it? Activate on game phase, game start. What you might then want to have is start sequence when receiving from channel 300, just to make sure. Because I tested this before and start sequence we're seeing from worked better than when it had it on game start so just to be sure have it on 300 and game start as well next you want to place down your item granters change your grid snap back to four and the settings for this will be uh enabled on game start yes on grant action keep all grant current items and give extra ammo i'm gonna have this on no cycle behavior wrap and then cycle to random item when receiving from channel one. 
copy it and then you want to move it over one and then you can go to your modified options and change the channel just once to channel two once again channel three channel four channel five and channel six now for this channel six one really quickly we're going to change the current items to all items and then also we are going to change the cycle to random item to rent item we're seeing from channel six and then from here you want to place down two explosive barrels we'll come back to one of them but it'll be when explode we're going to see from channel 300 health uh one blast radius uh you can have this on the max player damage zero structure damage zero damage initial fields no knockback off uh exponent proximity range 10 tiles time to, time to detonation from round start i'm gonna have this on five seconds play audio vfx no visible games no and then play audio and then you can copy that and bring it over here and then you want to change uh the channel it will be exploding to channel 200 which will destroy all the barriers and then if you want you can change the play audio vfx to yes is it in games no and play audio yes that way it just gives a little bit of a explosion here and you'll hear it in your head like it's it's exploding and then from there you can place down your hud message device message i'm gonna have this say um round start uh start oh my keeps capitalizing the t actually uh instead of doing the hud message device if you want you can do the hud message device um but instead of that one instead of this explosive device go ahead and grab the object timed objective place it on down in your inventory i'm gonna have it place face me and then start when round starts yes time label round start start in and then it'll say the 10 seconds right next to it time label textile i'm gonna have this on extra large visible their games no and then uh it'll say uh, where is it when completed transmit on channel 200. now it's a ways down and make sure you get it right uh when completed transmit on 200. And then this will be destroying uh, the barriers over in the box fights and the zone wars. From there, place down your triggers in this sequencer here. All your triggers and place it down. And you want to rotate it so that way it's facing up like this. And you might need to change your grid snap to 8. And you want to kind of put it in the middle and the very front of it. The settings for this will be... yeah. So for settings for this first trigger, it will be trigger by player off, uh, trigger by vehicles off, and then trigger by sequencers, you wanna have that on. Activate on game phase, none, times can trigger one, delay one second, and reset delay one second. Trigger sound and trigger VFX, I'm gonna turn those off. Visible during games, gnome, enabled on game start, enabled. When triggered, transmit on, we're gonna have this on 150. And then from there, all you want to do is copy it one time, bring it over one. And the only setting you want to change is when trigger transmit on channel 151. Once again, channel 152, 153, 154, and 155. As you can see, we have six triggers here for six of these item granters. Now for the item granters, this is where your weapons are going to go. I'm going to place them down really quickly. So for this first one, I'm going to have assault rifles. Second one, I'm going to have shotguns. Third one, I'm going to have um, 
snipers and rocket launchers and explosive stuff like that for this uh fourth one i'm gonna have uh smgs and other consumables and then for this fifth one i'm gonna have secondary consumables that it's usually goes in your fifth slot and the sixth one the reason that we had it on all items is because it will be gifting the um uh, ammo and the mats so i'm gonna go ahead and place down my weapons and stuff uh you guys can copy it if you want i'm gonna speed it up though so try to keep up Alrighty, now I am done with my weapons, and you are done with this area now. We're going to head back, or actually, if you want to guys, if you guys want to do uh, the box fight weapon now, it is going to be here, grab an item granter, place it on down, and the settings for this will be, since we had it on channel, up to channel 6, we're going to have it on grant item, we're seeing from channel 7, and then enabled on game start, yes. Grant on action, keep all all items, uh, give extra ammo, no, cycle behavior, wrap. And then from here, since this is going to be box fight loot, you can go ahead and place down 500 wood, 500 brick, and I'm going to have 200 salt and 200, or 20, or 40 um, shotgun shells, and then two minis and a slurpfish. And then of course we are going to have where's our yeah we can just scroll down and grab the purple pump i'm also going to grab the blue assault rifle you can then drop in the assault rifle first this will be depending on which order you want them to go in but then you want to place the slurfish in and then the minis. The reason you want to place the slurfish in first is so that way it goes in your fifth slot instead of your fourth slot. Because if you have con sort consumables to the right, it will put the minis there first if you put the minis in first. And then the slurfish, which is a bit annoying for me personally. So I put the slurfish in first. And then I'm going to have split. So they get 250 brick. And then what you're going to do is go back to your devices and now we are going to grab the mutator zone plate now find the middle of it and i'm going to place it on the roof i don't know why it's not working so that probably means that i have to build a little box like that and then right there and now you should be able to place it on your roof Settings for this will be allow and fire, yes. Zone width, uh, the size of your box, zone depth, and zone height. You want to add the extra one because we moved it up. Enable on game start, make sure that's set to yes. Um, enable VFX, no. And then um, on player entering zone, transmit on channel 
set. And that'll be all the settings you need to change. As you can see, it covers the whole area and it also goes in. I could delete this wall. As you can see, there is a mutator zone there. So now when you teleport from the pregame, you will teleport into the box fights and you will spawn it immediately with mats, ammo, and your weapons as well because of this mutator zone here. Finally, or actually, come back here and now we're going to grab our storm. We're going to snap two. Uh, generate storm on game start. No initial radius since it is the box fights. I'm going to have it on 30 meters. Wait time, um, 30 seconds and resize time three minutes so now since i have the time limit on four minutes it will have around 30 seconds in order to um heal in the zone delay time i'm gonna have it set to five seconds damage 10 and then generate storm i'm assuming from channel 101 and then dis or destroy zone we're assuming from channel 100 From there, we are going to head over to our Zone Wars maps. Zone Wars map. And we're going to firstly place the storm down. I'm going to place it down over here. I'm going to set the generate storm on game start. No initial radius. For me, it'll be 200 meters. Wait time, 30 seconds. And resize time, 3 minutes. Delay time, 5 seconds. And then generate storm, I'm assuming from channel 100. And then destroy zone, we're assuming from channel 101. So that is your storm for both your box fights and zone wars. Finally, the last thing of this map will be setting up a mutator zone. So you can pull out or go back to your devices and grab the hover platform, place it in your inventory, and we are going to go to max height. You heard me right, max height. place it two below so right there and i'm gonna grab the galleries again i'm gonna place down this floor once more and then i'm going to make a three by three area right here and you and then you are going to grab or go back to your devices tab and grab six mutator zones i put seven just in case i mess up you might want to do the same and you want to place one down here and trust me, it'll be better if you use the plate instead of the moving one because the settings are just slightly different that it makes it that much worse or that much better. So, uh, allow weapon fire, yes. Zone width, you want to make it cover your map. For me, that will be 90 by... or I'm going to just have it on 100 by 100 by 100. Enabled on game start, no. Make sure that is on no. If it is not on no, then this map will not work. Or you will not get weapons in your zone wars. Enable VFX, no. Um, enable when receiving from channel 150. And then on player entering zone, transmit on channel one. If you guys remember back when we were setting up our weapons the first trigger was trigger when we're seeing from or when triggered when uh when triggered transmit on channel 150 so that uh trigger will um enable this mutator zone and as soon as, as soon as somebody enters this uh this zone wars map it will give them their first weapon which will which will be the assault rifle and as you can see, it covers the whole area of the Zone Wars map. If you want, you can change it depending on how big or small you want it to be. But for me, that is how big I want it to be. The second one here, it will be the same, almost the same settings. Um, except for the channels, of course. VFX. And then enable when we're seeing from channel 151 this time. And then on player entering zone channel two you want to bump it up by one for the enable and uh, on player entering zone by one for each of these 
So this one, it would be channel 152 and channel 3. And then so on and so forth. All right, and once you're done with your six material zones here, it should be 150 and 1, 151 and 2, uh, 152 and 3, 153 and 4, 154 and 5, and 155 and 6. Now, now that you're done with that, you can start your map. This will be a test one here. And if you've done everything the way that you have, oh, that might be one thing you want to change. As you can see, the player spawn pads are there. Uh, but in any case, you will teleport into it and you will spawn in with your weapons here. As you can see, I got all the mats in the world. I can build, I have my weapons and I'm gonna die. Or I guess not. I'm gonna quickly test the box fights so that way it teleports me there. I'm gonna go into it, and as you can see, I spawn with 500 wood, 250 brick, and uh, my surfish is in the fifth slot, and my minis are in the fourth slot. But uh, over here, there's one more thing, which will be the player spawn pads, which seem to show that they are visible. So to fix that, just change visible during games to no. And you want to do that for all of these so give me a quick moment to change that and then once you're done with that you should be a-okay so go ahead and start up your map this will be the final test run as you can see no player spawn pads you fall in and you immediately spawn with your weapons and your mats and don't forget your ammo as you can see, since I got the grenades, it goes in my fourth slot, and then I have the sideways rifle and the pump shotgun. Now, once again, I'm going to go and kill myself right here. Right quick. I don't know why it takes 15 seconds. That's the UI settings. If you need to change that once more, I'll go through it one more time. As you can see, no player spawn pads. Round start in. It'll say that at the top. One, zero. Now, if you want, you can up that time by a little bit. Um, it doesn't really matter to me. But in any case, that's all you want to do. I'm going to go back to the UI really quickly. So my island UI really quickly, game winner display time 5 seconds, game score display time 5 seconds, and round score display time 3 seconds, HUD info type, score, show community of all HUD, and resource feed, uh, yes, use team score, no, scoreboard win condition, uh, score, scoreboard tiebreaker, and eliminations to assists, and then show community of scoreboard, no, and then custom rate to call out uh, your zone and this ain't your zone. And then escape. And what was the other thing I wanted to do? Um, oh yeah, up the objective device to 15 seconds. You can put it up to, I don't think it's, but I'm going to have it on 15 seconds. Give you like an extra, what, three seconds to get your loot. And yeah, that is the Zone Wars box fights. That's how to build your Zone Wars box fights map. 2021 chapter two, season eight. If you guys did enjoy it, please don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys next time.